Welcome to Hope Natural Health, the podcast inspiring you to be your best version. Join me, your host, Dr. Erin, naturopathic doctor, dog mom, cancer survivor, and girl boss weekly as we discuss all things health, hormones, and happiness with a little side of this thing called life. We're back. Welcome back to the Hope and Natural Health podcast where I try to get you healthy the right way. Last week, we talked about three signs your thyroid might be affecting your period. So if you missed that one, go back. It's another short, sweet, and super value-packed episode. And this week, I'm going to talk about five healthy habits that I think are crucial to your overall health. As we're starting to get into a new year here, a lot of people try and do New Year's resolutions and try and become a better version of themselves. So I want to point out five healthy habits that you literally can start today to become your healthiest version. So the first one is hydration. It is recommended that you drink at least half your body weight in ounces. So if you weigh 160 pounds, we want to be drinking at least 80 ounces of water. That is plain old water. It's not water that's in coffee. It's not water that's in iced tea. It's not water in your ice cube that's in your cocktail. It is straight up water from a filtered source, your refrigerator, whatever the case may be, bottled water, watch the plastic, but it is straight up water. I get asked often, does sparkling water count? It does count, however, I do not recommend sparkling water on a daily or regular basis because it can affect the acidity of our stomach and it might cause some long-term acid problems with the acidic in the carbonation there. So be mindful of how much uh, carbonated or fizzy drinks that you're drinking. But again, all in moderation with those. So making sure you increase your water. Now there's some fun apps that you can use like plant nanny or setting reminders on your phone to drink that water. I literally can't go anywhere without my uh, water jug here. It's literally like my little blanket and security blanket. I carry it everywhere. So having the water in front of you is another good way to make sure you get it in. Another good tip I like to do for drinking water is if you're setting that goal, you can figure out how many of your water bottles you need to drink a day and you can put rubber bands on the water bottle and each time you go to the fridge and fill it, you take a rubber rubber band off. So then you know you only have four left or three left or two or whatever the case may be. So hydration is key. Number two is move that body at least 15, 20 minutes a day if we want to start anywhere, just get up and move. And that's not doing a 10K or a 5K or sprints or marathons or stairs or any of that. It's just simply getting out and moving your body. Go outside, see some sunshine. If you live in snowy weather, do some sort of activity inside your house or on your back patio or whatever works for you and the environment that you live in. But it's so important to get your body used to moving. And I guarantee if you don't move for a day, you will feel the effects and you might feel a little bit more run down, maybe less energized, mental clarity's off, et cetera. So I challenge you to get moving. Aim for 15 minutes. If you can get 30, that would be ideal. Let's try and improve the sleep. Another healthy habit is making sure that we rest and we rest well. Your body is most active overnight. 80% of your immune system is most active overnight. All your organs do its repair and regeneration overnight. So we have to give the body the time to do that. If you're not sleeping, that's a giant issue. And it's not so much quality over quantity. or It's so much... I think that's backwards. I want to make sure you're getting quality sleep, not how much sleep. So yes, we want to aim for preferably seven hours of sleep. And that is actual sleeping. It's not how much time you're spending in bed. So remember, it's like, oh yeah, I'm in bed for, for eight hours, but I'm only sleeping three. Like that is not that is not healthy. So trying to work on getting sleep, even if you have to start going to bed 10 minutes earlier night, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. There you go. 30 extra minutes of sleep. If you go to bed earlier and you set little goals for getting to bed at a reasonable earlier time than the night before. If you have trouble sleeping, we need to look into why. So do we have a nice, healthy sleep routine? Are you turning off the electronics before bed? Are you not eating right before bed? 
Are you doing some sort of mindful activity to really calm that brain down? Perhaps read a book, uh, listen to a podcast, or do some meditation. Those are some good things to do. So make sure maybe just start working with doing something different at night to help with your bedtime routine. Nutrition is always something that is an ever developing healthy habit, but you have to start somewhere. And I had a podcast guest a couple episodes ago, Brooke, who is a certified nutrition coach, and we were talking about the stress of the unsustainable weight loss. So nutrition is definitely somewhere you can start. And I recommend just taking one bad habit out. So if you are always snacking on potato chips at a certain time of day, like disrupt that habit, replace it with something else. Maybe pick some celery or carrots or a fruit or something that is a little bit more healthier than chips. Or perhaps you're having soda at a certain time of day, like a continual habit. Disrupt that. Replace that soda with some water so you can go back to your healthy hydration goal for the day. Just start somewhere. It's not taking something completely out, but maybe replacing it with something. Or if you're having a sandwich every single day and you want to maybe lower the amount of carbohydrates you're having, maybe have one piece of bread instead of two pieces of bread. You're still having that sandwich, but you're just fixing the macronutrients in there and maybe lowering them a bit. So there's so many different things you can do with your nutrition. Just start somewhere. That's the best thing to do. And then last, and I think I talk about stress on every single podcast, but life is stressful. Our world is still in chaos. We are, who knows what the next day is going to hold, what new restrictions going to happen, what new mandates going to happen, a new rule. So also then we have to have, you know, the our kids in our lives or perhaps the work going on. So stress is going to be with us. It's just important to look at how we manage that stress and how we are focusing on ourselves and doing some sort of self-care per day to help manage that stress. So for me, it's making sure that I work out. It's also making sure that I take time to listen and tune inwards to see if there's anything that's bothering me and then maybe journaling. I don't journal every day, but if there's something nagging on my brain, I'll work through it. That is how I manage my stress. Now, I can't tell you how it's going to work for you, but you need to figure out what fills your cup and what you can do to really just kind of tune out this outside chaos that's going on in the world so that you can you know, calm down, you can breathe, you can, you know, take that anxiety down a notch so that you can be happier and be more energized and not have the stress overtake your body. So those are five healthy habits that you can start today to become your best version. I also have a healthy habits course that can teach you these things in more detail and hold you more accountable. So the link will be posted in the show notes, and I actually have a discount code for $25 off, which is actually 50% off the price. So it's a really good deal to get started uh, and a jump start with these he healthy habits, the CODIS podcast. So again, check out the show notes for the link. And if you can't find it or have any questions, feel free to reach out to us and we will get you that information. But I hope that you found value in this and I would love to hear if you started any of these healthy habits or what you struggle most with and how I can support. We'll see you all again next week. Mm -hmm.